Welcome, folks. Uh, my name is John Bleck, and we're here in Clears Theatre for the first time this year. Normally, at this point in the year, I definitely have been here already, but um, we're squeezing one in right at the year's end. I'm going to kick off with a song called Hannah. Give me water for my whiskey, for there's bitterness in me. I did not come here for your counsel, just to drink to sleep. And I'll do all that I can do to get back home to you, Hannah. There's no champagne or chandeliers when my Just a cold bed in some old hotel After all my songs are sung And I'll do all that I can do To get back home to you Yeah, I'll do all that I can do Come on home to you, Hannah. Well, I'm so hungry. Longing for your skin All I need now Is you lady And a chance to rest again And I'll do all that I can do To get back home to you do all that I can do to come on home to you, Thank you. This is Lace. White as a lily, as fragile as lace, torn by the is on your wedding day she said I was she said I was good 
good for nothing I disagree Cold is the ice on Seems she said I was, she said I was good for nothing. I disagree. She was like the setting sun. And now the ground she lay upon The shadows lengthen disappear Cause that's all they can do Way by the corner to watch the cars pass Ribbons on bonnets and dresses to match She said I was, she said I was good for nothing I disagree mm. Thank you <clears throat>about 12 or 13 years ago I used to work in a guitar shop a musical instrument shop in the middle of Cork City called Crowley's Music Centre it was a bit of a an institution really in more ways than one it was a shop that was famed for having sold Rory Gallagher his three colour sunburst Fender Stratocaster all those years ago and uh, it was probably the best job I've ever had except for this one Asking a guitar player to work in a guitar shop is like getting an alcoholic to work behind a bar or a heroin addict in a poppy field, you know. I never went home with very much money, but I was always there with a smile on my face. On a daily visit, we had um, this homeless man who come into us. And he'd come up to the counter at the front of the shop and he'd say, would it be possible for me to play some guitar down the back for a little while and... We were all more than happy to say yes because it's something that seemed to be important to him and it it had very little impact on our lives really. This man would go down the back and he'd take the most expensive guitar he could find off the wall and he'd plug it into the biggest amplifier he could find and the sounds that he would create were not what we would call music in Western civilization, but they were his creation. They were from very, very, very deep down inside of him. It was noise, but it was him and it was perfect. Years later, I was reading a newspaper article 
the shop had closed down. I hadn't been working there for almost a decade, I suppose. And I see a photo of this man and the headline next to it says, Homeless man Conor O'Hagan passes away in Tullamore County Offaly. It struck me that that was the first time I had ever heard the man's name. I read down and it was nice to read it because there was an interview with this man's father and it said, um, Connor was not a man who was sad about his circumstance or his situation. It was a lifestyle that he had chosen. He had a catchphrase and it wasn't that, you know, he wouldn't say I'm homeless. He would say I'm following the sky. He was pursuing his own way of living, unique to himself, free of any of those, I suppose, uh, weights that we all kind of put on ourselves his own level of freedom and this is a song that I wrote for him my ode to Conor O'Hagan a song called Empty Pockets Following the sky sleep beneath the stars Fever in my mind, freedom in my heart I lost touch I let go, searching for something With these rusted strings, I will make my fortune Singing for my supper on every corner I hear voices in my head Why am I so easily Empty pockets, freedom in my heart Nothing to lose, so nothing can be lost This is my fortune, what is the cost? I wander weary through streets of strangers See the daily dealings going through the motions You say I'm sick I say free But I don't need your sympathy Come the night I'll lay down in the park Empty pockets Freedom in my heart, nothing to lose, so nothing can be lost. This is my fortune, what is the cost? Is my body failing or my lungs collapsing? I am barely breathing, but my mind is racing I leave life a wayward son But I felt more than anyone Come the night I'll lay down in the park Empty pockets Freedom in my heart, nothing to lose, so nothing can be lost. This is my fortune, what is the cost? Thank you.
I got married July in this year and I learned a very important lesson. When you get married, you don't just marry that beautiful woman who you adore, you also marry her family. And this song is about that. It's called Death and His Daughter Fair. <coughs> Death and his daughter led me down to the river bed, tempted by beauty fair, violet lips and raven hair. She promised to love me truly. If I paid her dowry Well I filled my boots with lead and gold To give to father all I own Death be nimble, death be quick Stole the breath right from my lips Death is lasting Well, I fell for her, I fell indeed Lost the sense I tried to keep Step by step, no tears were shed Water rose above my head Death be nimble, death be Lasting death brings pain Stops the blood run in my veins Death and his daughter fair Violet lips and raven hair no good for me, my lungs are drowned Heart is still and makes no sound Thank you. North Star Lady. I must rise, I must rise and go for your voices beckoning me. On home, I will write every ink stained sheet. Know that it is for you, every single drop of it. Though the pull of the tide is stronger now, I'll return to your side somehow. I know you will guide me home Like the lighthouse 
us in the storm I know you will see this through North Star Lady I'll follow There are those who have never known, never had the courage, never willing to let go, spit the words, trapped down in your lungs, out into the ether, for the only way you down and the toll. That it takes on the body And the sound that it makes When you set it free I know you will guide me home Like the lighthouse in the storm follow you Thank you <laughs> Excuse me This next one is a brand new song. Um, definitely its first public or somewhat public outing, anyway, at least. Um, it's a song called Long Strand. Long Strand being a, a beach down in, in West Cork, just outside Clonakilty. A song that was written in response to another song that I wrote called Northern Sky. And that one was written after I was told a story by a friend of mine who lives in a town called Smithborough in, in Monaghan. He's lived there most of his life. And uh, it's a border town. Um, and he was regaling me with tales of his encounters throughout the, the 80s and the early 90s of living there and what was happening. And at that point in my existence, I was only a young man living at the very, very southern tip of the island and uh, completely oblivious to it. Northern Sky talks about the conflict and the long strand. This song speaks about my innocence to it, my lack of knowledge on it at the time of its occurrences. <coughs> As I said, this is the very first airing of this song and thus there may be a few stray notes, but bear with me. I'll take you there to breathe the air the southern seas command And fill your hands with grains of sand Let time slip through your fingers Long nights on a long stretch The way Shift in the sand I'll 
the timbers burn the fire turns its fury into beauty and the twisting flame so soon became those curling plumes of sin The sun on salty sea Let's settle by the cliffs, love Watch the day break upon thee water please if that's okay so This next one is a song called Lightness Versus Weight. This was recorded on an album in the year 2016. The album was called Cut the Light and it was recorded as a duet. There was a male and a female part, but unfortunately due to the social distancing restrictions within this venue, I will be performing both male and female roles. Um, just in case anyone notices any changes in the timbre of my voice or even physically. Um, it's just, it's called method acting. And now we're just, just going to have a little cameo by Paul here, who is uh, doing the part of the waitress this evening. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he didn't agree to wear the costume. Thank you. This is lightness versus weight. <coughs> Was the cool of the morning and two bodies lay side by side as though they'd been slain but who was the hunter and who was the prey shall i stay another night or will you send me away Your touch is a noose and your arms are the road Wrapped firmly around me in my slender throat If anyone knew I was laying with you I'd be hung 
from the gallows and you would be too there's a lightness in this and a weight that i'll miss lovers shall i stay have grown empty me nothing no more my wife's a good woman but not the one i need shall i stay another night or will you have me leave well how can i trust you your adulterous tongue To this unlistening ear Rise and go I don't want you here There's a lightness in this In a weight that I'll miss Lover, shall I stay In the black of the night In the blue of the day Lover, shall I stay? This next one that I'm going to play for you is a song called Needle and Thread. Um, a few years back, all of my friends were, were getting married and having kids, as they tend to do. And uh, two friends in particular, they asked me to write them a song that they could walk back down the aisle to after they were married. And this next piece is what I gave them. It's probably the cheapest wedding present I've ever given anyone, actually. And it's barely even two minutes long. It's this needle and thread. It's a song about the little things. It's a song that says perhaps we don't always have the financial means to buy our loved ones the things that we think that they deserve. But we can do whatever it is that we do best to let them know that we care. It's a song that says if you're a carpenter... You make them something from wood. If you're a painter, you paint them a beautiful portrait. If you're a chef, you cook them a beautiful meal. The simple things. Sometimes that's all you have, and sometimes that's all that matters. <coughs> this is Needle and Thread. With a needle and thread I will stitch you a gown Of the finest of silks I can find in this town With the gentlest of touch And the slightest of thread with the skill of a surgeon, I so lace to the hem. And though my pocket's empty, not a penny to share. Oh, needle and thread, let me show her I care. With a hammer and nail From a stronghold oak tree I will fashion a bed If you would lie with me The shape of the wood Formed by chisel and 
plane by the hands of a man who may still love in vain. And though my pocket's empty, not a penny to share. Oh, hammer and nail, let me show her I care. And though my pocket's empty, I am honest and true. And all that I do, I will do it for you. Thank you. What sort of time are we at, lads? Sorry. Gone, gone through 40 minutes, yep. yep. Edit that bit out. <laughs> this is a song called The Knife and the Liquor. It's a song about staying a little bit too long in your favourite drinking establishment. One of mine definitely is this particular place that we are this evening. And it's definitely a place where I have spent a little bit too much time on occasion. And the liquor's in my veins I will run my mouth around All the bars in town again So let me drink till I'm full And let me sing till I'm sore The ashtray says I've been here too long But my glass still overflown I will smoke till the clouds have filled the room Till my weary pains are gone So let me drink till I'm full And let me sing till I'm sore I know this is no life, but it's mine Let me lay my head on the bar a while For my bed's too far to roam it is empty now that she is gone And my house it is no home So let me drink till I'm full And let me sing till I'm sore I know this is no life But it's mine
a number of years ago, um, back when gigs existed and people could gather in a room and sit right up on top of each other <laughs> and sing songs. I used to play a gig every Thursday in a bar in Cork City. Um, the gig started at midnight and finished at 2 a.m. And it was called the Midnight Ramble after Levon Helm's Midnight Ramble that he would, that concert series that he would have held up in upstate New York. We just play our favorite songs. It was just a bunch of musicians who toured and worked hard. And whenever we were all in town at the same time, we'd get together on those Thursdays and we'd play Bob Dylan and Neil Young, the band, the Beatles, anything. Anything that sprung into our minds. It was a bit of a wild one, as you can imagine. It's starting at midnight and finishing at two. And one particular evening, I can remember, we finished up and I was approached by this Dutch gentleman and I used the term gentleman very loosely in this particular instance. He came up to me and he said, John, what happens in Cork after 2 a.m.? To which I replied, nothing. To which he replied, do you want to come back to my boat? To which I replied, yes. Seemed like a good idea at the time, potentially disastrous, but I live to tell the tale. We took the stroll from the pub we were in on that night down to the docks. That'll tell you the type of establishment that it was. We turned the corner and I had high hopes. You know, I thought we was going to see some form of luxury vessel. Alas, those hopes were in fact dashed and it was a cargo ship about the length of Parliament Street outside Clears. And uh, it was carrying rubbish from uh, from Cork to Rotterdam, one of our many famous exports here in Ireland, you know, Guinness, Jameson, the crack and rubbish. Um, anyway, nevertheless disappointed. I didn't want to give up, so I climbed aboard and we stood on the bridge of the ship and he said to me, John, I want to show you a room downstairs. This again sounded very ominous, but I thought to myself, it's okay. I'm six foot four inches tall and I weigh about 17 and a half stone, probably a little bit more now after lockdown, but back then. I said, it's okay, you know, if anything goes wrong, I'll push him over and sit in him. We went downstairs and we came to a big iron door, the kind of door you would expect to see on a vessel of that nature. You know, rounded edges and the wheel in the center. He went up to the door, spun the wheel and pushed the door back and what lay inside was nothing short of heaven. It was a room about the size of this stage up here and it was full from floor to ceiling with grouch beer and camel cigarettes. Two products which at that particular point in time I had a particular penchant for. I decided at that point that I was going to spend a little bit of time on the boat, but not just to increase my state of inebriation, but more on an environmental mission. I was going to consume so much of that beer and those cigarettes that I would lighten the weight of the vessel, and thus on that man's return journey to the Netherlands, he would burn less of those nasty fossil fuels, and I would subsequently save the world. We're all still here, and you're all very welcome. I did my bit. <coughs> At around six o'clock in the morning, things started to get quite deep and meaningful as they tend to do when two men have consumed that much Dutch beer. I asked him, would it be okay if I put my phone on the table and recorded some of the things that he was saying because I knew that they were important, but I also knew that I would never remember them. About 12 months after that night, I was sitting at home writing songs for an album called Catharsis Volume 1 and I was going through the memos on my phone, listening in for ideas and I came across this one and it was called Sailor. I sat there with my headphones on, not knowing what it was. I pressed play and all I could hear was the rumble of a diesel engine and out of the ether came a voice saying things like of course I miss my wife and kids but coastal navigation gets its claws into your back it terrified me the memories came flooding back and this song came flooding out this is salt in the water
Come all you weary sailors, come rest on dry land The smell of salt and water, it must be tiresome Think of your grieving mother and of your family Who'll care for you young daughters when you're at sea I wish I could lay by your side But I am the wandering kind I am at sea and the ocean is me For I am the salt in the water I'd rather die a sailor than in the infirmary On crisp white sheets of cotton, no stars above me For I was made to wander, I find my own way The turning of the tides is all that controls me I wish I could lay by your side but I am the wandering kind I am at sea and the ocean is me for I am the salt in the water How did I get into shipping? Uh, uh, my father was a river barge captain and also uh, owner of a uh, river barge and he uh, he did that all, the, all his life and logically I went with him when I was a little boy we were talking about my wife and son and of course I miss them and of course I want to be with them yeah. but I couldn't be without this sailing the you know? coastal navigation gets its claws into your bank is, is this it? Up and down I wish I could lay by your side But I am the wandering kind I am at sea and the ocean is me For I am the salt in the water Thank you. I'm just going to do two more songs for you and then I will be on my way. Um, it's nice to arrive in here today and to feel the life being breathed back into the place. It's been a long, uh, a long few years since March 2020 and it's a pleasure to be getting back to it some way. Lily in the garden. garden, oh my, oh, lily in the garden lay, 
thistle and the thorn, they broke my fall, I stumbled in the ditch that day. I lay my head upon the earth, her mother say, tread softly on me, boy, you'll need me till the end of day. Fire on the mountain, fire in the sky, turning all the blue to black. There's ash in the lungs of the old and young, mother bring the good days back. How could I take from her so foolishly? We curse the air and earth, mother I can hardly breathe. Hither on the hillside, oh my, oh, hither on the hillside high. Rocking the gorse and the old dark horse out where the finches fly. Where do the rivers run? Where do the rivers flow? We're all gonna die at thirst. We don't know where the rivers go. Oak in the forest, oh my, oh, oak in the forest, old. They won't last, not the pine or the ash, if you don't heed what you're told. Ice and snow hide in the earth, the flames lick the sky. I don't want to go right now, mother, I don't want to die. Lily in the garden, oh my, oh, lily in the garden lay. Thistle in the thorn, they broke my fall, stumbled in the ditch that day. Thank you. So this will be my last song and then I will be on my way. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, wherever you are. A massive thank you to um, Clears Theatre and Bar, uh, the Live Venue Collective and of course the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Gwiltuk Sports and Media. Um, the longest ministerial position title in the world, I think. Um, and for me, the most important. So let's keep it. This is the Black Water. Good luck. And I couldn't get down Found myself stuck on high ground Drowned the streets upon which we grew Broke the banks of the black water Broke the banks of the black water thought you knew the good the bad the false and true bury the steeple neat the black water bury the steeple neat the black water I'll hold my head above the water my love until Returns with proof you. 
rising higher than the sycamore but line the streets where we lived before gather your families and climb aboard but be covered in the black water be buried in the black water I'll hold my head above Returns with proof.